Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. As always, this is Gregor Outdoors. Um, we are out here getting ready to do a pattern test with my Rite Masai Mara 12 gauge. Uh, this is the video I want to show you guys. Um, we're going to actually be putting a Carlson's choke tube in here. Get this thing. We're going to pattern this at 30 and 40 yards with both Migra, which is a steel load only, and with heavy shot. Um, heavy hammer, 12 gauge, 3 inch, 1 and uh, a quarter inch load. And the Migra is um three inch two four one and a quarter uh so we're gonna see how these two rounds pattern these are the two uh most common shells that i shoot throughout the uh waterfowl season so we'll get these chokes tubes in here this will probably be a pretty short video i'm only gonna shoot these two um rounds or shells at 30 and 40 yards so we'll get this checked out see how it goes hope you guys get something out of this video um i got my spotting scope set up with my mag view camera so you, you guys will be able to see the impacts the point of impact with the uh with the shotgun so stay tuned hope you guys like the video hope you get something out of this Alright folks, so we just got done doing the pattern test with the Rite Masai Mara 12 gauge. Um, again, I was using Migra, a 3 inch, 2-4 stack, 1 and a quarter ounce load. And I was using the Heavy Hammer 3 inch, 1 and a quarter ounce load. Um, and that was a 4 shot, I believe. But um, I'm going to post the pictures up here as I'm talking. It looks like at 30 and 40 yards with a Carlson's mid-range and full choke, Migra had significantly more pellets on target than the heavy shot. Um, I did notice last year when shooting the Migra out of my 20 gauge and out of my 12 gauge Beretta, um, I had a lot less cripples than I did, surprisingly, uh, with heavy shot where they have a bismuth and steel kind of mixture. Um, so I'll be interested to see how this retail does this year um, with the Migra 2-4 stack 3-inch load. Um, I, actually, I absolutely love that round, uh, that shell. I think it puts a hell of a pack on the uh, on the ducks. So I um, hope you guys got something out of this. Like I said, showed the pictures of the targets 30, 40 yards with Carlson's mid-range and long-range chokes 30 and 40 yards. Um, so i'm impressed uh, i did notice there are significantly more um pellets on the target than uh i think when i did my beretta last year so i'd be interested to count these when i get home and i'll put those counts uh somewhere here in the video uh probably about this section because i'm talking about it um but i'll put those pellet counts in the 30 inch circle uh, of the target um if you're interested in the targets that i use today go check out chase waterfowl you can get them on their website there again uh carlson's mid-range and long-range chokes for the Rite masai mara 12 gauge um and i hope you guys get something out of this video like i said um it's always good to pattern your gun before the season um so you guys get a general idea of, of the ammo that you're going to be using what your pattern looks like that way you can gauge distances and you know ethical shots um so take a look at that make sure you pattern your shotgun before waterfall susan it'll be here before you know it if it hasn't already uh, i believe northeast zone for california started yesterday which is saturday so uh congratulations to all those guys good luck um for everybody else throughout the rest of the country good luck have a great season and uh we'll see you out there